two or three years ago, I was sent one of these ukuleles to review by Camise. It is the Camise Tenor Travel Ukulele. And I still have that one. <laughs> and it is a very good ukulele. I think it is excellent. It doesn't generally come with a bundle of stuff. I usually buy this just with the ukulele. You get it for a really good price on eBay. So I bought three. And my main thing today is to find out if these are just as good as the ones that they were making two years ago. And I'll tell you in a minute. Now this is zebra wood, but it's got a kind of a special finish. It's got some kind of solid material on it that makes it sturdier than the regular untreated zebra wood ukuleles you get. It's not a gloss, but it has some kind of special treatment. So, is this going to be exactly like the one that I got all those years ago? Let's see. It's interesting that ukuleles like the Aklat Mahogany just hardly ever change. You never see any, any difference. Very, very little. So you can see this on the headstock. There is some kind of special finish on this. This is not raw zebra wood here. But it makes it a sturdier type of ukulele. It's got upgraded strings. It's got a very nice dark fret board. A few frets could use some uh, filing. This is not really bad, but a few frets could use some filing. It would take me three minutes to do that. This is much darker than the one I have. But it has that same finish. It has the same trim, the same thin body. It does come with strap buttons, which is a major plus here, since you don't get anything but the ukulele. As long as it has strap buttons, you're pretty much in business. So I would say this is very near to be the one that I had those years ago, except mine is much lighter color. And that would probably be the case because all these ukuleles, uh, the zebra woods look different. Some are lighter, some are darker, and the wood grain patterns are always different. So none of these would look exactly the same. Now, why did I like this ukulele? Well, it's a great idea to have a smaller package. Something smaller to hold makes it easier to hold. This is a tenor ukulele. This would be easier to play than a ukulele that is uh, considerably thicker.
This one is very easy to tune. So this will go out of tune very fast, but I like this ukulele. I think it is worthy. I think this is a great one for people to have, people who um, want something that will deal with the elements a little better, something that will travel well. This is a good one for that. This is a great ukulele, I think. Now I'll show you how long it'll take for me to trim up the frets. One. There are just a couple of frets here. It will only take us a few seconds. If you get a, a ukulele at a, a good price and you like it and it comes with a few little sharp frets, that should be no big deal. You can find a file somewhere or a certain kind of sandpaper would probably work and just file them down. In really bad cases where every fret is sharp, it might take me 10 or 15 minutes. This is how I do it. Other people say they use tape, but I never, I don't have patience for tape nor time. So it's ready to go now. That is a, a super ukulele. I like this uke. Thanks for watching.